Hi, Water Signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly energy reading, 6 through the 12th. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So the Water Signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus. Let's see what's going on for you. Love, 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 love life, and advice for the week ahead, 6 through the 12th. Keep in mind... These could just be messages and energies you need to hear at this time. May not exactly come into fruition exactly that week. Please keep in that. Uh, please keep that in mind and only take what resonates. So let's see what's going on with the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, love, life, and advice for the week of uh, January sixth through the twelfth. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy New Year. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What's going on in love for the water signs for the week of 6th through the 12th? So we have here, physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. We have 47 there, which is 11, which is 2, which is about unity. So uh, coming together. So someone needing to be uh, more affectionate, maybe. And then we have here, love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. And we have 43, which is seven. Seven is a very divinely guided spiritual kind of number. Seven can also talk about a lot about confusion and being defensive. So if someone's been kind of blocked off, defensive, confused about a love situation here, not sure what to do, where is this going, is this the end, is this the beginning, we're restarting, uh, needing to be more affectionate, caring, compassionate, forgiving kind of energy. Hmm, okay, so we're going to clarify all this with tarot. So all the decks are listed below, water signs, you can check the description box below, tons of stuff down there, decks I'm using, social media, <clears throat> if you'd like to uh, reach out for a personal reading, or send a gift, or donate, or anything like that, and all the water signs individual playlists are below also, so please feel free to check that out, lots of stuff, so water signs, what's going on in life, what is the life energy, what's going on, oh we have snake. Ten. Tens are about endings, so I'm going to read a little bit what that snake means after, and on the bottom of the deck here we have water. Water is very healing, it's nurturing, it's fluid, that's about going with the flow, it's a very feminine energy, it's about feelings and emotions. Alright, so I'll just read a little snippet of those when I go to clarify. So I'm getting with the snake, just by my intuition, there may have been some hurtful, deceitful things going on for you, but there can be healing with this water energy. So whatever, if it's, you know, friend, co-worker, family, lover, whatever here, whatever kind of snake, deceitful energy, but the snake can also be about shedding old skin and like transforming. So I'll read a little bit about that after. So let's see with the advice for you, water signs. Thank you, everybody who subscribed to the channel. All your support really means a lot to me. So whether you've reached out for a reading, subscribed, wow, uh, sent a gift, tipped or donated, however you supported the channel, it's truly, truly appreciated. So thank you, thank you. So we have confidence here, 18, 9. So 9 is about, you know, being confident, is about, you know, willing to fight when you have to fight and being brave. And then we have seven, so we have 17, 18, we have Secret Keeper, Frog Mouth. So, and I just got this for, I think the fire signs. So, hmm. and the Secret Keeper, I did read up about that for the fire signs is about um, seeking knowledge, the secrets of like life, advice from those wise elders around you, those wise people around you, whether it's people, people, friends, family, uh, counselors, um, whatever here, therapists, whatever it is for you, getting that wise, like the secret of life advice uh, from those around you. You got 17, 18, wow. So, and eight is about taking action, communication. So, so I feel like whatever advice, your advice is to get advice, guidance from those around you. 
and it will build up your confidence and make you more confident in life. Wow. Okay, you see a lot of that uh, yellow orange energy, which kind of reminds me of fire energy, being very fiery, passionate, go getter, confident, strong, courageous, and brave kind of energy, being true to who you are. All right, so let's get some clarity now. Let's go over here back to love. Love endures, and physical touch is important. So something might be going on here for some of you in a relationship where you're not sure if it's ending. Are we starting over? Can we overcome this? Some may need to be more uh, affectionate, caring, nurturing, and giving with their person. I do ask water signs if you like how I read, especially if you're new. If you like my style, please check out my channel. If you like what you see, um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You truly appreciate it. So now we have the devil over here. So yeah, toxic energy. I feel like like negative energy, just like, like codependency and just like a bad situation. Maybe a lot of arguing, not getting along, uh, just feeling kind of blah. You know, and fearing, is this the end? Is this over? But the Queen of Swords here, so that's op open, truthful communication. King or Queen, doesn't matter. And the Knight of Wands is like moving forward, a lot of drive, ambition kind of energy. And then the Eight of Cups, so walking away, death. So some of you, wow. <laughs> okay, one more. Queen of Cups. King or Queen of Cups, doesn't matter. So you got two Queens. Some here... You got the devil and you got death. Some are ending a toxic relationship, being open and honest about it, saying, you know what, it's time to move on with the Eight of Cups. It's about walking away. So some could be walking away and just moving on, you know, fe feeling that fiery kind of energy, just moving on like Knight of Wands. It can be a player in and out kind of energy. So if, if this is like someone you're dating or something like that. They're very in and out, very flighty um, kind of energy. I think some of you are just going to end it and move on with the Eight of Cups, knowing your value, your worth, having self-love for yourself, being honest in the situation that this in and out energy is not working for me. That's that devil energy. It could be just very passionate energy, as with the Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands here. And just walking away from it and just having self-love for yourself and knowing you're worth more than that. For some here, if it's a long-term relationship here, um, it does say love endures and physical touch is important. So, I mean, it could be some of you walked away for a time and thought it was over. Um, and it could be transforming now because you do have the Queen of Cups on top saying, you know, there is love and emotions. And the Queen of Swords there for truth and clarity you know, may need to just walk away for a time and uh, take a breather, take a break, let this transform and bring in the passion back in with the physical touch there. And with the Queen of Cups, that's that love of, and you know, love endures. So I think with truth, clarity, open communication, Queen of Cups being that love and caring, nurturing kind of energy, you know, by taking a break, walking away, I think maybe coming back and bringing the love and the passion back in you know, the love and the touch uh, probably can uh, overcome this for some of you because it does say love endures. All right, so some, though, I think if you're dating a player, <clears throat> just going to end it. So what is the snake? Ooh, okay, so I just want to read 10 there, a little about the snake. Worldliness, duality, and desire. So, so I'm getting with that, you know, kind of a deceitful kind of energy. So something here can be uh, healed, I think, because you think of a snake, you know, oh, somebody's a snake, you know. So it could be that energy. So let's see what we have here. So we have the Three of Cups. So it's celebrating, coming together. And the Three of Wands. Oh, okay. And the Ace of Coins. So, a stable new beginning here. I mean, could have been for some a third party um, situation because we have do, do have two threes here. 
But the Three of Cups is about rejoicing, celebrating, coming back together. Three of Wands, waiting for the right time to reunite or come back together. And it being more stable, having a new stable beginning here for the long term with the Ace of Coins. The Chariot moving forward quickly to commitment. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's get one more. The Five of Coins. Okay, so... Somebody may have been ghosted here or um, or maybe turned down or neglected. A love offer may have been torn, turned down or something like that in the past. Or maybe had to turn it down for whatever reasons. Maybe somebody was involved with somebody else and they had to release their, themselves from that energy first before coming together. Because this is moving forward very, very quickly to commitment, marriage, you know, waiting for the right time to come back together to have a stable new beginning here. But we have, you know, Snake. So maybe, maybe didn't know this person was involved with somebody else at first. And then the water comes in and heals everything. Um, talking about love and emotions and feelings. Or if it's a friendship, it could be, you know, maybe something happened. But then, you know, there was healing involved, forgiveness, compassion. Ooh, was that a spider? I don't know. Yes, it is. It's a spider. So <laughs> I was landing on my head. Oh, my God. So the spider, eight legs. Eight is all about travel, action, and communication. So definitely here could be travel, action, communication. Definitely here. So if it's not a love relationship, if it's something with a friend or a coworker or a family member, um, you know, it could be, you know, maybe something happened here. Uh was hurtful with the five of coins energy, but then I feel like coming back together, like having that faith, hope, and optimism again, waiting for the right time to come back together, reunite and rejoice, and it being more stable moving forward. Some it's love, some it's could be a career, new career coming in, waiting for the right time to start a new business or career or something like that, being committed to that. Some could have been monetary lack, and then you're waiting for something to come in, and all of a sudden, boom, it comes in very quickly. So however that means uh, for you. So let's see here with confidence and secret keeper. So balancing out energies here. So I feel like, okay. King of Wands, that fiery, pa and I had said over here with this, all this like fire passionate energy of being confident. The King of Wands is very confident. King or queen doesn't matter. And the fool taking a leap of faith here. So I feel like by... If you're confused about something, not sure, or you, you know, you just need uh, advice or um, direction or something like that, I think by getting that from trusted people around you, it's going to give you like a new lease on life. You're going to feel more balanced, passionate, go-getter, able to start a new beginning here, whether it's a new job, a new business, uh, just a new direction in life, taking that leap of faith. The hermit. So really thinking about uh, things here, finding your way in your light, what's best for you, being indecisive. And I feel that's why you need advice here. But it could be, like I said, uh, six of cups energy. It could be um, old friends, you know, older family members. Maybe you haven't seen in a long time. Going back home, reconnecting with those people you trusted from your childhood, your elders, your, you know, older family members you haven't seen in a very long time. Reconnecting with them. To help you make decisions to help you find your way in your light balancing your energy and then being in that fiery passionate confident energy of taking like a new leap of faith a new lease on life and moving forward and on the bottom of the deck here was a knight of coins so moving forward slowly here being smart practical uh decisions moving forward but being more stable sturdy and grounded and confident will lead to your ultimate happiness and joy and fulfillment in every single way with the Ten of Cups. So yeah, so you have all this energy here of happiness and joy and fulfillment, being stable and grounded and secure and abundant and making very wise, practical um, actions moving forward. Water signs. Well, water signs, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.